Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech Social Design, and today we are going to see about the aggregate transformation in Azure Data Factory. So, what is aggregate transformation? So, the aggregate transformation defines aggregation of columns in your data stream. Using the expression builder, you can define different type of aggregation such as aggregate functions, sum, min, max, count, group by existing and computed columns. So computed columns as we have already seen inside the derived column transformation. Then what is the group by? So for example, if you are having three columns and we want to do grouping based on two columns and the third column will be having the aggregated values. So this is the group by. So select an existing column or create a new computed column to use the group by clause for your aggregation. To use an existing column select it from the drop down so that we will see in the practical don't worry so go to on the browser and we'll try to implement this in practical so here go to the blob storage and under the blob storage we have this file so this file is containing the information of the employee like employee id employee name employee address and employee department similarly if you can go and check inside the payroll file so payroll file is having the information for the salary amount, tax amount, payroll month and employee ID. So what we want to see, we want to see the data as per the employee department and pay month. So first we have to join between employee and payroll table and after that we can use the aggregate transformation. So first we have to use the join transformation so that we have already seen inside the join transformation in this playlist so first go to the data flow and try to create a new data flow here and let me quickly call this data flow as aggregate transformation now here we are required to add the source so first source which is the employee so here we have already created the data set for the employee so i am going to select that one similarly we need to go and try to add the payroll data set here so we have already created the payroll one so this is the payroll data set we can select it so we have selected for the employee as well as the payroll now we need to click on this plus symbol and need to add the join transformation to do the join between these two so here under the join transformation we are required to use the inner join left stream is source one and right stream is source two so we can select it and the join based on the employee id so we can select the employee id from here and employee id from source 2 so this is all about the join transformation now we are required to add the aggregate transformation but before aggregate transformation let me quickly go in the source 2 and here we can go under the projection here we can see the salary amount and tax amount values as a string so these values should be in the integer not a string so we can change it from here because we are going to do the aggregation based on the salary amount and tax amount and that can be done either in the decimal or integer data types so that's why we have updated now in this join transformation let me click on this plus symbol and here we can see the aggregate so we can add this aggregate here now here we can see the incoming stream that is join one that is okay here can see two options group by and aggregates so under the group by we are required to select the department name the first one and second on the payroll month so we can click on this plus symbol and we need to select the payroll month from here so payroll month is available in the source two so we can select it from here so we are doing the group by based on these two columns and aggregate so we can go under the aggregate and here we can select the column which is the salary amount and here we can see the expression so under the expression we can open the expression builder so we want to check the total amount so we have to use the sum of the employee salary so that is the salary amount now click on save and finish similarly i want to see another column so we can click on this plus symbol and here the add column so this will be adding another column and 
that column is tax amount so we can select it now here we can open expression builder and let me use the sum here of the tax amount so we can select the tax amount and save and finish so we have done for the aggregate transformation like this is doing the aggregate based on department name and payroll month and whatever the salary amount and tax amount so the total of that so we can go in the data preview and try to refresh it so under this we will be going to see four columns first two from the grouping and last two for the aggregate so as we can see the IT department in the payroll month of this the total salary which is this one and here we can see the tax amount which is this similarly in the HR here it is 15 and the tax amount is 14,000 so this is not the correct data actually so don't worry for that now we need to load this data into the destination so we can select here the sync part and under the sync I am going to use the inline query select it like in delimited text file so we can select that in the link service we can select it go to the settings and here we are required to select the output folder so we can go in the output folder and after that we can click on ok below of that we can use the first row as header so that is true now here the file name option that is output to single file so the output file name so this should be salary by department so that's it now we can go under the data preview and here let me try to check this by using the refresh so this should be having the data which we have seen in the aggregate so that's it now we can publish this and uh, okay so we need to go in the sync part again and here go to the optimize and this should be partition option should be single partition now let me try to publish this so it will be published now we can add a new pipeline to execute this data flow so in this pipeline we can use the data flow activity so we can drag and drop it here as we can see it is published completed so we can go in the settings and under the setting we can select the data flow for the aggregate now we can try to debug it so once this will be completed your blob storage output folder will have one file that is salary by department so it is executing we can wait so it got executed successfully now go back to the output folder of this try to refresh it here we can see salary by department let me try to open this file and we'll see the data under this so go to the edit and under this edit we can see like the department name payroll month salary amount and tax amount whatever the data we have already seen there let me close this so this is all about the aggregate transformation so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video